In addition to the internal OS drive, your server has three additional content storage drives which are known as the RAID array. The message in front of your screen indicates that one or more drives are missing from the array. We now have to determine the missing drive and whether or not it's failing. The first place to check is on your server's control panel. In the storage section, you'll notice a drive status that indicates the health of each drive and a RAID status that indicates the health of your array. After clicking the refresh button to display the most current information, each of our drives appear to be okay. Therefore, we'll have to troubleshoot further to determine the source of our degraded array. From here, log on to the admin panel. If using the on-screen keyboard, first remember to click the focus button, then enter the password configOS. Once logged in, select Storage System Management. This will produce a submenu specifically for monitoring the RAID array. We'll continue our troubleshooting by clicking the Monitor RAID status. On this screen, we want to pay close attention to the first line. Usually, we'd see an active RAID 5 with three letter drives, but immediately, we see one drive is missing, SDB. Now that we've discovered the missing drive, we now need to determine if it's failing. Return to the submenu by clicking the focus button, clicking anywhere on the screen, and then pressing Control C. Next, select Hard Disk Information. This will reveal every hard drive recognized by your server. Starting from the bottom, SDA is your server's OS drive, SDB, C, and D are the three storage drives, and MD0 is the array that the storage drives create. From this list, select letter drive SDB. This will reveal a page filled with information, but we're only concerned with three specific sections. Start scrolling upwards until you see a line that reads Smart Error Log Version. The ATA error count should read zero, but here we see it's three. This is most likely the reason that SDB was kicked from the array, but we're not done yet. Scroll upwards until a line of dashes begin appearing on the right side of your screen. These dashes belong to the attributes section, and our goal is to make sure that nothing is failing in the Winfield column. Lastly, scroll about halfway up the screen until you get to the self-assessment test. We want to make sure that the overall self-assessment test has passed. If it's passed, and we have no failing attributes and zero ATA errors, then this drive is healthy and can be added back into the array. But as we saw earlier, this drive contains three ATA errors, which indicates that it may be failing. Therefore, it should not be re-added back to the array. From here, you'll want to contact your service provider or the GDC tech support to receive a replacement hard drive. 